What's up guys, it's your boy Gimme the Legs back at it again with another customs loot video. Alright, today we are gonna be spawning an old gas. This is actually one of my all-time favorite spawns because you can get in and out under 10 minutes with a backpack full of loot. Whenever you spawn here, if you look directly behind you, you will have a stash you can loot. A uh, med bag. Always look under a giving tree. Now there is stuff that spawns inside of the gas station, but for the time of the route, I like to just pass that, skip that, and then come out the gate, take a left. And you will have a, another stash you can hit, a dead man sitting against the wall to the left, and then a dead man on the train tracks. But I usually skip the dead man on the train tracks, and they'll come up here, hit the stash right here. come up and uh, hit the dead man skip the guy on the train tracks it's up to y'all if y'all want to hit him again I just like to skip him for the time the stash right here you can hit I'd like to come up and start uh, running towards stronghold when you get about right here good thing to look at that uh blue fence towards crack house because there's actually a spawn over there as you're running up if you look on these concrete uh, bags loose loot can spawn there a weapons box right here ammo and stuff can spawn on these same thing as right here loose loot loose loot Food. Sometimes loot can spawn under this green uh, blanket. Box right here. Bag right here. I'm run back here. You'll have two jackets. Another med box, weapons box, a uh, crate, and a wooden crate. And what I like to do is uh. Run up these spiral staircases right here. Be mindful of people on uh, skeleton. There's actually a spawn right back here by the white wall. There's a stash right here. They can push up, just come up to skeleton or shooter born or whatever. As you come up here, you have another big wooden box you can hit. Cool box. Same thing with back there, weapons parts, loose loot. Another big wooden box you can hit. And another one. And now there's two ways you can exit. A wooden fence, or not wooden fence, a metal fence. <laughs> you can run and uh, sprint against it and you won't take no damage. A little bit. I actually don't like to leave that way. I never really leave out the front. We'll come back up here. Clearing all of this before I jump. Walk down. Same thing, walk down. Be mindful to clear. come up to the back side of mechanic now this is an offline raid so I have nobody in it I'm just doing this for ease of just showing y'all always want to be a little bit more cautious but uh in here you're gonna have loose uh, weapon parts on the table up here you'll have a toolbox right here and then sometimes loose little spawn right here as well now depending on the time, I've noticed from like 32 to 34 is when people will start rotating from Big Red. That's if they hit RUAF. There's three ways you, they can come. RUAF, middle, or land bridge. 
nine times out of ten, they usually go Lambridge. But sometimes they do hit RUEF, so just be mindful of that. Dash right here. And what I actually like to do is, uh, once I hit that stash, I'm like this way. Looking over there towards pocket watch. And then also want to check and see if that door's open. If that door's open, you know somebody's hit it. They're inside crack house. Also have another uh, double bag you can hit right here. As we're approaching RUAF, you want to be mindful and try to clear as best as you can. So like I said, 32 to around 34 is about the time that they're done looting Big Red and they'll start rotating this way. Also right here, you have a chance of an armor repair to spawn. 450k. Definitely a nice grab. And then you are out. And you can rinse repeat and make tons of ruples.